if we spoke about Luton kind of defying our expectations and potentially even staying up, at the start of the season, all three of us talked about how Wolves making that change and getting rid of Lopetegui and bringing in O'Neill meant we thought they might maybe suffer the drop as well. And then they've just gone and beaten Chelsea 4-2 at the weekend to go above them in the league in a really convincing win. So Wolves are actually quite good, aren't they, Dave? I suppose that's the only question I've got. Definitely. And I mean, you look at the way they've performed you know, consistently this season. I think what's been actually really easy on the R, especially for their fans, is how at- their attacking game has actually grown in stature. Um, what would have mm. been a worry, for, I think, for the fans, particularly over these last couple of weeks, is losing Huang, who's been such a talisman. The man yeah. that he's scored. Um, but they've, mm. they've just carried on from where they left off on his absence, through his absence. Mm. And, well, who saw a Cunha hat trick come in? Absolutely superb. He's had 15 goals and yeah. assists this season in the league. Which, nice. Considering, I think he had a little bit of a difficult start to his career at Wolves, didn't he? Last, obviously, when he came in mm. at first. Um, but the, the return of Neto again, who's been absolutely superb. Mm. I think he's, he's had 10 goals and assists as well. Sarabia has also had that. And those contributions as well, mm. they all of a sudden look like mm. a really potent attacking threat. I think you've got to give, obviously, Gary and a lot of a lot of uh, praise. But I think I've got I've got you, mm. a man. You mentioned Lopetegui. I think you've got to give him a praise because I think he was the man who actually put the, yeah. to sign Cunha. Um, but he definitely showed, obviously, um, Wolves are uh, almost all of a sudden becoming a real real force and they're picking mm. results and putting performance in, performances in against you know the big boys in the league obviously really unfortunate not to get something mm. against United um, the mm. other night and in this game when you know they were they were so efficient in terms of how they took the goals yeah they were um, I thought Cunha you know was, especially second goal really good finish um but I think Neto is actually giving them that little bit of creative spark, I think, since he's coming back. A bit of star quality, They just it? look more productive. Yeah, mm. absolutely. And yeah. he's a player I've always liked. And I think when he did pick up that injury, obviously, and was out for so long, it was actually quite worrying because the companies don't yeah. always come back the same, the same player, do they, when they mm. have injuries like that? Yeah, and it's funny because as bad as Chelsea were in this game, and I will mention that briefly, this doesn't seem like an anomaly. We didn't really look at this game and think it was a foregone conclusion that Wolves would lose this. And instead, actually, maybe we did anticipate they'd be able to go and get three points because that attacking force, we are mildly surprised at their performances. But I think they spent, what was it, 40 million on Cunha? Like they put a, a good amount of money down on him. They clearly backed him and wanted him to succeed. And yeah, it was a Lopetegui signing. So the fact that Gary O'Neill has been able to go in there and get a tune out of some of these players that maybe we didn't expect him to or give him enough credit for, it's fantastic. It's, it's really nice to see a young British coach like that really kicking on at that level, particularly when he got such a hard time of it towards the back end of last season. So yeah, it's, it's impressive for Wolves. 